today we are in District 4. Welcome back! We're back to it! Property Lim Brothers is bringing you to another home tour. We are in Coros at Keppel Bay, showing you a three bather, 1356 square feet, beautifully renovated. We're back! Just 10 minutes to Vivo City as well as Harbourfront MRT Station. Come, let's go check it out. Chorus at Keppel Bay was developed by Keppel Land, which is the same developer for reflections at Keppel Bay, Caribbean at Keppel Bay, as well as the reefs at Kingstock. It's TOP in 2016 as a 99 year leasehold condominium, which makes us one of the newest kit in this area. So in total, there are 367 units spreading across 11 low to medium rise blocks and then it's made up of 1, 2, 3 and 4 bader including penthouses as well. So if you were to take a look at the site plan of Corals at Keppel Bay, there's a total of 143 units which are made of 3 bedroom as well as 3 bedroom deluxe. Three different facing that you can choose from. Number one, you can choose the internal facing or towards the Keppel Bay Drive or towards the Kingstock facing. The four bathers are facing outwards towards Sentosa. Yes, they are of a west orientation, but if you want the luxury water view, I think that is something you can consider. Our unit is at Stack 20. It has a north orientation and we are facing towards the Keppel Bay Drive. Opposite us is where you can find the Caribbean at Keppel Bay. We are sharing this small road, which means that you can enjoy quiet and peaceful serenity over here. So if you are looking into three bay in this project, there are two different layouts that you can look for. We have three bedroom as well as three bedroom deluxe. Other than the size differences, I think the main difference is number one, there will be a dual balcony in your living as well in your master bedroom, three bed and three bath for deluxe. For the three bedroom standard, what we'll be getting is three bed, two bath and large balcony. So other than that, I think the layout are all about the same. You do have an enclosed kitchen, dining. The bedrooms are all tucked at the corners and that's where you can find your living room area as well. <laughs> Standing, this is actually a three bather, 1356 square feet. So the owners have spent about close to 100,000 in terms of renovation, doing up this really modern plus luxury living lifestyle. You can find all the wood panelings, the AC all done up. They have also converted one of the common bedrooms into a walk in wardrobe, but we will show you how you can reinstate into a proper bedroom later on. touch on the name of the corals at Cabo Bay and as the name sounds, each and every stack of the home that you can find here, even though they may be similar in size but each and every one of them are unique on its own because of the shape of the balcony. So this entire balcony is shared between the living as well as one of the common bedrooms. Towards the balcony, this is the north facing so what it means for you as a resident is that you don't need to worry about any afternoon sun or even any morning sun. The balcony is actually double glazed so it's really quiet. They have fitted in a dining table if you're into alfresco dining here's what you can do you can do your cooking and then bring your meals outside post it with your friends and family members and because we are on a medium rise level you get to enjoy this scenery and the trees are all like well grown so you don't need to see any neighbors opposite the project so i just want to share with you one most amazing view is that you can actually see the cable car rolling all the way up to the mount Faber site and then they go down all the way to sentosa as well i think it's a view that is really rare to have it. So as you step into the living area, you are greeted by this squarish layout. They have fitted in this huge L-shaped sofa, marble flooring. Right in front, they have also fitted this full height TV feature. You can change it up into any size that you want. 65 inch, 85 inch, feel free to do that. So at the bottom, they have also installed some cabinetries. And then you have this very nice wall feature, which is actually the home shelter and a storage space. So I really love the idea that they conceal it nicely and blend it together into the home and this thing that you see is so called jutting out is actually additional storage space so this storage allows you to maybe put some of your display or your wine so moving on to the dining area right at the end of the dining table i think this currently sits a four but you can definitely add in more seats and then you can sit up like to a eight packs for you to host your friends and family right at the back here i really love this design because it looks like a feature wall but 
it is very functional because of all the storages that they have fitted in then at the bottom they have more storages as well everything is nicely laminated with this wood finishing so at this corner there is uh, more storages this is where you can find your DB box at the foyer area they have also built in more storages to put in all your shoes I think all the design is very well thought out of very minimalist very clean and at the same time blends with the entire home team now let's move on to the kitchen This kitchen is really compact and it has everything that you need here. It has both the left and the right side and I think this is a good way for you to have your meal prep area and then you can turn around, do your cooking over here. This behind here is actually a two-door fridge, nicely hidden inside already. This is given by the developer. Right opposite, you have the Miller oven as well. So at the bottom is where you can find your washing machine come dryer. Backsplash is nicely done up in consistent with your countertop which is made of marble. Top and bottom cabinetries has been done so you have plenty of storage space don't need to worry at all right opposite you have this German brand called the DD Trick. you can find your cooker food and hop at the back it comes with full height window panel so if you were to off all the lights can be assured that plenty of daylight will come in and it comes with a sliding ventilation window double glaze as well so there probably wouldn't be any heat or sun coming in What's more exciting for this entire area, you might have heard of it, the entire Great Southern Waterfront stretches 30 km all the way from Marina Bay and stretches to Pase Panjang area. Next time, it's gonna be like a work leave and play kind of a concept. There will be 9,000 new housing units that is housed in between two new MRT stations, making up of BTO as well as private residentials. So what it means for you as a homeowner and an investor right here in this area is that this place will continue to have a strong demand in terms of rental. There will be more expert trades that's coming in. So in terms of rental tenancy for this project in the past one to two months, it's already gathering about like 10 over agreement. And for three bedrooms, they are commanding about 6,000 to 8,000 and that brings you to about 3 to 4% in terms of rental yield. So if you're already falling in love in this place which is in Capel Bay and you're looking out for where are the other 3 bathers in the area, here are some of the price comparison that you can take note. So first up, you have Carabin at Cabo Bay, TOP in 2004. Three bed, two baths are going at 1,200 square feet. They are asking at a price of 2.38 to 2.48 million dollars and that brings us to a PSF of 1,009 dollars. Next up, you have Reflection, TOP in 2011 and because the whole project consists of 1,000 over units there, the three bed, two baths are going at 1,002 to 1,004 square feet, asking at a price quantum of 1.98 to 3. 42 million dollars and this brings us to 1005 to 2003 in terms of PSF. Next up you have Corals at Cabo Bay, this TOP in 2016 making us one of the newest projects in the area. The three bed two baths are going at 1002 to 1005 square feet asking at a price of 2.488 to 3.3 million dollars and that brings us to 1009 to 2001 in terms of PSF. One thing that is important to note is the new launch which is the reef at King's Dock. At the 1345 square feet, they are already asking at $3.7 million which already brings up $2,700 in terms of PSF. So our unit only translates to $2,001 in terms of the PSF which means that you do have a safety gap before the new owners at the new launch wants to sell at $2,009 PSF in the near future. So before we head on to the bedrooms, let me share with you the first common bathroom. That right inside is still in a new, really nice condition. Actually, it looks like a hotel feel. At the back is where you can find the basin. At the bottom, you have some storage and cabinets for you to put in your stuff. And then you can find the WC as well as the wet area. So this is nicely glassed up. So you have a dedicated wet and dry area. All right, so I'm going to bring you into the most important place of any home, which is the master bedroom. So all the bedrooms 
bedrooms comes with parquet flooring. Currently, the entire bedroom comes with this headboard plus the platform bed. This particular mattress is a queen size, but you can feel free to change it into a king if you would like to. You have this beautiful TV feature and then at the top, you have some storages as well as at the bottom. These bedrooms are all sharing the same orientation as the living as well as the common bedroom. You do get to enjoy the greenery because all the trees are like very well grown. They have kept in place the original wardrobe that comes from the developer so all these are still in good condition. Let me bring you to the master ensuite. Take a look at all the tiles that's being seated in the master ensuite. Really luxurious, really good quality tiles that you can find here. Right at the front, you can find your WC. Some storages can be found at the bottom. Full length width of mirror. There is also a wet and dry dedicated area here because it has been nicely glassed up uh, right at the back you can find a ventilation window so it helps to dispel all the moist out immediately. So something unique about this floor plan is that the owners have converted one of the bedroom into their walk-in wardrobe. So it's really smart how they do this. This is where you can find your vanity table, put up all your makeups, your skincare over here, plenty of storages on both the left and the right. And on the other corner, you have all these nice wood laminate cabinets already done up for you to put in all your clothes. And the good thing is that for this bedroom, they have kept the original wardrobe for this bedroom so if you would like to reinstate this entire wardrobe into a proper and functional bedroom it costs less than 15,000 to do so and we have all the quotation plus rendering ready for you as well the last bedroom over here the owners have converted into like a mini theater kind of concept so they have uh, remained the original wardrobe all over here so that's good as well this is essentially like a blank canvas for you to re-explore and then you definitely can fit your study area and this corner is where you can fit in a super single or even up to a queen size so we did some renderings for you so that you can re-explore into a design of your preference coolest thing is that they have this projector that's coming on to the wardrobe of which the screen is already hidden inside the top of this portion. So if you are a family oriented person, you are looking for this luxury waterfront living lifestyle, here are the amenities that you can explore in this project. There is a 15 meter swimming pool right at the center of the project. In terms of connectivity, we are just less than 10 minutes walk to Harbourfront MRT station where you can find Circle Line as well as North East Line. Just one stop down towards the Outram Park is where you can find East West Line as well as the future Thompson East Coast Line. Two stop towards the Chinatown, you have the Downtown Line. There will be the completion of the circle line by 2025 which means that traveling to CBD or Marina Bay via MRT will save you approximately one third of your traveling time. You will definitely be spoiled for choices in terms of the amenities nearby because we are just less than 10 minutes walk to Vivo City. You can also find the ferry cruise terminal so perhaps in the future when the borders open up you can be just 30 minutes away to Batam and then take a short day trip. You can also find Siaim Hawker Centre, Teluk Blanca Food Centre as well as Teluk Blanca Rice Market and Food Centre. So we have come to the end of this home tour. If you have liked what you've seen so far, this is a free waiter asking an under three million dollars quantum one three five six square feet, hundred percent in a move-in condition and tastefully renovated to a modern luxury team. Under ten minutes walk to Vivo City as well as Harbourfront MRT station. If you'd like to arrange for a viewing, do give our listing manager a call. The description is all down below in the box. Do hit the like and subscribe button on our YouTube channel. We can also be found on Facebook, Instagram as well as TikTok. My name is Jessie Lim, Property Lim Brothers, always happy to show you the place. And we are right in the middle of it. <laughs> so close. Right. <laughs> okay. Three and four beta penthouses as well. No. Try that again. In like so, much, so many of the home tours before, I have never enjoyed a view whereby you see the cable car. <laughs> Alright, so we have come, <laughs> you just fell, <laughs> I saw.